7.19 p.m. Sunday night. Time to pick up my clothes and get set set for it. Okay, so I just checked the forecast. Uh, it looks like it's going to be at 7 degrees tomorrow morning when I'm up ready for seminary. And so I have not picked out my clothes because it's hard to do that in the morning when it's dark and cold. Okay, Sunday night step is I have to go through all my materials and make sure I have everything I need for tomorrow. So here we have my agenda for tomorrow. Notice it's a, a Cornell note. So this actually is my outline for tomorrow to make sure I've got everything. I've got some videos I want to actually share with them. So here's my USB. Um, I have my keys so I don't forget so I can actually get in the building. And we're going to be using the board tomorrow so i got to make sure I bring my dry erase markers. And I've got my manuals and I've got my lesson schedule which will have to go and my handy dandy bag. Oh, and let's not forget the most important thing. I am going to need my scriptures all ready to go. All right, this is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. It is 4.30. My husband is still asleep. It's very dark outside and I'm dressed. Next step, scriptures and a little bit of breakfast. So I'm in the car, uh, everything's ready, and I think that we're good. Now I've got to drive to the church. That usually takes me about seven to 10 minutes, depending on traffic. At the chapel now, uh, now it's time to actually unlock the gate with this lovely lock right here. So empty classroom, we're going to need four tables and the whiteboard and all of the chairs set up. You should want that test one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't, you don't, It is 7.10. I am now back in my driveway and seminary is over for the day. It was a good lesson. I was pretty happy with how things went. Uh, the students were you know, fairly responsive, a little bit sluggish, kind of tired. It was a cold morning. So now I get to start the rest of my day. Why do I do this? I think the reason I do this is because I had a really good seminary experience when I was growing up. And I believe it's also because I had four children that went through seminary and I didn't realize the level of sacrifice and commitment that their seminary teachers made to help them be grounded in the gospel. So it's a little bit of paying it forward, but it's also uh, me being able to actually use what I was given, the blessings I was given, in a productive, effective way. And it's worth it. I know it's a big sacrifice. Uh, I'm tired, so tired sometimes. Towards the end of the school term, my eyes are bloodshot almost all the time. But I believe it's worth it because when I am teaching the gospel, when I am feeling them catching on to the gospel and the atonement and the scriptures, it's all worth it. It's where I need to be and it's what brings me joy.